Thanks, son. That drawer was a bitch and a half to open. But did you really have to use one of my good combs? What? Not even a meek little high. Too cool for that? Or is it more about me? We're part of the same brotherhood, sister. Hairdressing and beautification and, uh, mating and butling. You can talk to me. I'd love to work on your hair. Like, I see the shine all the time. I know you take care of it. That's something I can always admire in a working girl. And it's long, straight. I bet it's heavy when it's not up. Is it heavy, hon? I could do you up a cute little cut. A bob, maybe. Thank you, but no. Oh, my God! She does have a voice! For a second there, I thought gay might have ripped out your voice box, banned you from talking like some kind of religious freak, you know? Talk about silence of a woman! I'm much more into what you gotta say than some hyper-controlling butler boy, you know? Still, I feel like I gotta insist. You came all the way here. Have you ever even had a haircut? Do you know what it's like to make your own decisions? Or has it always been Daddy giving you orders? Sweetie, look, I get it. I've read those books, too. You have Stockholm Syndrome. He's an asshole, and you refuse to leave him. We can fix that mindset of yours, though. First, by giving you a haircut. That's how all girls find their identities again after a really bad relationship. Haven't you seen the movies? You're not doomed, just a little frumpy.